shallowing the swing is simply lowering the swing's plane on which we make a forward swing to a plane comparable to the club's plane at the address position. Now consider this. Needing to shallow the swing implies that the backswing took the club off of its original plane to one that was higher. In order to deliver the club head optimally, the forward swing must then produce a compensating action, shallowing or lowering the club to a plane on which it was at address. This lowering is sometimes referred to as dropping the club into the slot. The human anatomy will typically allow our torso to rotate 90 degrees. Therefore, we seldom find much of a need to shallow the swing on putts and half swings because the swing can be kept on its original plane. If the swing plane is altered, it's typically when our backswing's arc goes beyond 90 degrees. There are two actions a player can take to require the club to be shallowed. The first is changing their spine angle by standing more upward as they make their backswing. When this occurs, the golfer can sense the weight shift to their heels. The second is to raise the right arm vertically on the backswing. This is common because many players conceive of their swing as a backswing and a downswing. And in preparation for swinging down, they raise the right arm, swinging up, raising the club above its original swing plane. The best solution for shallowing is not to make it necessary to begin with. Keep the swing on its original plane. Since standing up is relatively rare as the cause of the problem, let's address the more common problem of raising the arms. The solution could be as simple as maintaining the right arm's relationship to your right rib cage. So at address, the right arm is alongside. As you make the backswing, maintain the arm-rib relationship. This is sometimes done in a drill, placing a small towel under the right arm and holding it there during the swing. The drill exaggerates the rigidity of the arm against the body, but it builds an awareness of how the swing works when it does not need shallowing. Interestingly, while this does reduce the width of the first half of the forward swing, it does not greatly reduce the distance the swing can produce. What we might lose in distance can be more than offset by the impact of having a tighter shot dispersion. Shallowing is a compensating action for a backswing that takes the club off the club's original address plane. Keep the club on plane and forget shallowing. <laughs>